Hey, you. Yeah, you. I heard you're looking for them R.E.s. Well, I got them Ranger eyes, homie. You looking for that Data Crew new new? I got that Smash Brothers weirdo Wario too. <laughs> you just tell me what you're looking for, fam, and I. Oh, it's the Digital Millennium Copyright Police. Get out of here! Welcome to Zero Style. I am your host, Zero, the cyberspace hero, here to show you the EDC junk I've got in my pockets this week. From Data Crew, the brand new small fry pouch. Yes, folks, it is a brand new thin AF super slick pocket pouch with a pocket on the front and a pocket on the back. Yes, double the action, double the excitement, double the pocket trash. No, for real, this is a lean and mean pouch that really holds a good amount of gear for how thin it really is. The same DC quality that you expect, but in a smaller, more compact utility pouch style. You'll notice we've got a zipper here on the back, a zipper here on the front, and a full web field for patches. This week on the patch front, we've got some cool orange stuff going on. From my dudes at the Data Crew, we've got the Pocket Peak Reaper, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Pizza Point, and the Fresh AF Air Freshener. From Cosmonute Customs, we've got the Cosmonute. From over at Happy Pocket Co., Mike, my dude, his brand new Half-Life patch and the Doom Floppy, from Inkpot Artworks, The Jaw, and Team Weekend Warrior and Casa de Legmo Designs, Kubrickian Rage Cup. So yeah, that's our little Ranger Eye selection on the pouch this week. So let's start on the back side for a change. Because it is crappy weather out here, and whether you like it or not, sometimes you gotta use this stuff. Burt's Bees Medicated Lip Ointment. I don't think I need to say much about this stuff. You put it on your lips and they don't get chapped. In this hellscape of winter time here in Pittsburgh, you kind of have to whether you like it or not. In this same pocket here, I've got, I had the Burt's Bees up here in the top, I carry two cards, my debit card, my ID, as well as a little multi-tool from Big Eye Design and Pete's Pirate Life. They call this version the PPT, the Pete's Pirate Tool. This is basically the original TPT, not the slide edition, but the little pocket utility knife, blade, bottle opener, pry bar, hex bit driver, multi-tool. So it's just a very thin piece of titanium here. You push down right here and it's sort of the two pieces separate a little bit and it allows you to slide your razor blade out. Let's be completely honest here, the sick Pete's Pirate Life lasering on this blade was 100% the reason that I pulled the trigger on this and grabbed this edition of this tool. But that being said, you can put any kind of blade in there, a ceramic one or whatever, but I really enjoy the scraper pry bar flathead screwdriver aspect of this. I've used this a number of times and it's just so small and thin, it fits right in a pouch, you forget you even have it in there. This is the Grog bottle from Damn Designs, little poison barrel, triple X bead. It is hilariously thicker than the thing itself. But just the Pete's Pirate tool is just a nice little big eye design collab. It's one of my favorite pieces that Pete has done with them. The bees in there too. As you can see, all that just fits right there in the back. Zip that right up. All right, let's switch over to the main pocket here on this side. Let's start with the light. From Prometheus Lights, this is the full copper Beta QR with the pocket clip configuration. This is a twisty deployment flashlight. Give it a little turn here, one, two, three different brightness modes, up to about 100 lumens. It's a pretty nice triple A battery flashlight. Just unscrew it like this. You can see, you got yourself a little rechargeable triple A battery in there, a little patina check there in between the low lows. I actually dipped this thing in a bath of liver of sulfur to get that really dark blackened look to it. You can see the pocket clip attachment here is brass. Boo, Prometheus, why don't you offer a copper cap? You have a titanium one, why not copper? Anyhow, this is a great little flashlight. It works very well. This is like a art piece almost. The milling pattern on this is so cool and alien. I just love this vibe. The Prometheus Lights Copper Beta QR Flashlight. Next in here, we've got our knife. From Justin Coke of Coke Tools, this is the Rich Light Micarta Nat Friction Folder. 
You see these beautiful grinds by Justin. These are all hand done with this sort of apocalypse hellscape finish on the metal. Let's see right here, we've got our custom lasering PA skull right here on the back. Very cool, it's my favorite aspect about this whole knife. These rich light micarta scales are awesome. It's just layers and layers of paper that they make into this micarta. And then I've got the whole thing coupled up with a titanium blackened plague skull bead that just put the whole aesthetic together. This knife is covered in speed holes. It is just the quickest friction folder you've ever seen on the western side of Pennsylvania. This knife does not have a knife. This knife doesn't have a knife, huh? This knife does not have a lock. This is a friction folder, which means that there is just a little lock bar right there in the back. You might be able to see it behind the tang right here. Yeah, it just hits against that, on the side of the jimping, just like that. When you're cutting, you're putting downward pressure on the object, and the knife is, you know, forced into the open position. When you're done, give it a little flick, close it. I have mine loosened because I am just living on the edge, front flipping my Rich Light Micarta Nat from Justin Coke of Coke Tools and Plague. Did I mention her name is Natalie? She's so cute. One of my favorite little fifth pocket knives. And the last thing we've got deep down here in the pouch, a very special omen from Cosmonute. This is the Black Galaxy Teardrop Brass Omen. You can tell it is a special because it's got the orange backside to it. This side glows ever so slightly and the Black Galaxy does not. It is just a beautiful, deep galaxy, space field. So what's an omen, huh? An omen is a beautiful handmade piece of art. It is a worry stone, it is a ring, it is a SFK, it is a self-defense tool. If, if you really wanted to go that route, I don't think I ever would, but I just infinitely spin these things on my fingers, let the weight hit my hand, flip them around, and let my anxiety sort of just subside as I look at this beautiful piece of handmade art by my good friend Kevin at Cosmonute. This one is a teardrop shape made out of brass that has a sort of experimental acid etching on it. It is just so super cool looking. Never seen another omen like this one. Not just because it's a teardrop either. Most of them glow, minus sort of like the blood omens generally, but this one doesn't glow that much. So once again, a little bit special edition E for this carry for you. And that is what I've got packed in my brand new Data Crew Small Fry. All right, so let's take a look at the fit. I'm holding the Burt's Bees up off the top here so it doesn't fall down and mess me up as I put all the stuff back in. Set the omen there in the middle. Grab your Coat Tools Nat. Make sure she's sitting right there next to the omen. And then take your Prometheus Beta QR, put it on the other side, tuck it under, and zip that thing up. And that's it. That is the Data Crew Small Fry, a dual sided pocket pouch that is perfect for a cargo pocket or even a front pocket. You probably put this in your back pocket, but it would not be that comfortable. Oh, right, and speaking of Data Crew, if you're gonna order from datacrewla.com, use my discount code XERO15 for 15% off your whole order. It's on me. I appreciate you for being here at my channel and watching the whole video. Welp, that's the pouch dump video this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you again, Carlos and Milk, for sending me your brand new Data Crew small fry pouch. Yes, we're keeping with the food names, right? Anyhow, if you like this video, give me a like. It's the free social currency here on YouTube. Click my face down here if you're interested in subscribing to my videos. Click these boxes appearing around me as I do this outro if you wanna watch more right now. And if no one has told you today, you're a rad person who deserves love and praise just like everybody else in this world. Get out there today, do something fun, have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one. Later on!